uh, give a round of applause for James Aspie. Uh, and I want to introduce my great friends, uh, and they're always at the Veg Fest, Royce and Amari. All right. Hello, Gainesville Veg Fest. Make some noise if you're enjoying yourself today. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, hey, y'all. What's up? We're gonna do that over because we're actually at the 2019 Southwest Florida Veg Fest today, a few weeks later. So make some noise if you're having a great time at the 2019 Southwest Florida Veg Fest. That is awesome to hear. Well, for those of you who don't know, just as Mr. Evans said, my name is Royce Ayers Ashcroft. Can everybody say, hello, Royce. Hello, Royce. And my name is Amari. Can everyone say, hey, Amari. Hey, Amari. Hello, everyone. I am a talk show host, vegan activist, and entrepreneur. And I am a runway model. I'm also a vegan activist. But today, we're going to be your MCs for the rest of the Southwest Florida Veg Fest. Mm -hmm. I, I love how Veg Fest, how they help just spread awareness about the vegan lifestyle. And it's important that we have these events because it helps our community grow. So by a show of hands, how many of you have met somebody new out here today? Okay, I see a few hands, but I, I think we can do better than this, guys. The weather is beautiful. You can get close to each other. We're going to fix this, okay? We're going to make some new friends. Royce, tell them what we're doing. I think, I think it's time for one of our little popular games, okay? Does everybody like playing games? Yeah! I said, does everybody like playing games? Yeah! All right, well, I need everybody's participation, okay? Especially those of you here in the front who are sitting down. I'm gonna need everybody to go ahead and stand on their two feet for me. Stand I'm gonna need, uh, we're gonna need everybody to go ahead and stand on stand up for me. Up, yes, if, up, you, stand up. if you've got the capabilities of standing up, that would be great, because we ain't starting until it's done. Okay, looks pretty good. So this is how we're going to play the game, okay? I want you to turn and face somebody new who you have not met yet, okay? You this, have not met yet. I'm this, watching, I saw who was sitting next to who. We are watching, go ahead and meet somebody new. Turn and face them, okay? Now raise your hand if you've turned and faced somebody new yet. Jenna and Kevin, that means you, you know two each as well. Other. Go and find somebody new right now. All right, everybody's found somebody new. Go ahead and raise your hand for me so I can see. Everybody, uh, there's some folks back there. I don't see any hands up. All right, this is looking pretty good. All right, we haven't done the game yet. We haven't done the game yet. You have your partner now, okay? You're gonna turn and face your partner, put your hand on their shoulder, just like this, on their shoulder, very platonic, okay? And you're gonna look them in the eyes and you're gonna say, are you vegan yet? That is the game, everybody. Thank you so much for meeting that new person. I hope that they answered the right answer. Hope you got the answers that you liked, guys. So that was a lot of fun. We love having fun. That's why we do what we do. You guys know what else is really fun? Winning some money. That's always fun. Getting money as a gift, that's always great. So right now, we're about to give a few checks away. Giving some money away. But the way we got to do it is we have to introduce somebody very special to the stage. Please give a big, fat round of applause to the director of the Southwest Florida Veg Fest, Mr. Mike Young. Thanks, Royce and Amari and Evan. All right, well, before I get into this, I wanted to say one last thing about our certified vegan food that we have here, our certified plant-based diet.org. Spice Club over there is on the right. You may know we do events with them. They got plenty of no added oil certified vegan food if you want to try them out. And we got 40 other vendors, so get some early dinner while you're out here waiting for the next speaker who will be up momentarily. But I wanted to give away money, like they said. We are an all volunteer organization and we give away all the money that we generate here. It's free to show up, as you know, and we're out in the public place. 
The only money that you have to spend is if you might want to contribute or also if you want to buy something, of course, which you, we know you do. So I'm here to give away some money, basically. Uh, I've got a checkbook right here, and I'm actually going to hand the money to these organizations. We actually used to print up a big check, you know, those big fancy checks that you hand to somebody, but we're more of a zero waste organization now, and that's kind of wasteful, I think. So I know they'd rather just have the money, and maybe even electronic bank transfer is better, but I'm not going to give them a paper check. I mean, that's compostable, I think, when we're, when we're done. So I will begin with the first organization, and I am not sure if they are here yet or not. There may not be anyone to take the check, but anybody familiar or here with Crow, the clinic for the rehab of wildlife? Yes, okay, we have someone here. Well, I've got a check. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm, actually, I'm gonna give you the microphone. Come on up here. I want you to say a few words about your organization, and I wanna actually, I'll hand you the check while you're talking to everybody. Hi everyone, I'm Allison Hesse. I am the executive director of Crow on Sanibel. Who's heard of Crow, the clinic for the rehabilitation of wildlife? Give me a shout out. All right, fantastic. If you have not heard of us, please visit. Um, I'd, I'd love for you to actually come see us, but you can also learn a lot about us on our website, crowclinic.org. We are a rehabilitation hospital for wildlife exclusively. So thank you so much for all of your support. Those of you who have volunteered and know and bring us animals, we love being able to take care of them and we couldn't do it without your help. So thanks so much. There you go, thank you. Okay, we gotta get through this because we're running a little bit behind. Friends of Wildlife, is there anyone here from Friends of Wildlife? I don't think so, but we are also making a donation to that local organization. And we're going to skip quickly to the third one, Naples Humane Society. They're actually in the back. Is anybody here from Naples Humane Society? But they are in the back across the railroad tracks. If you all want to talk to them, find out what they're doing. They're here with us. Okay, next one. Are you guys ready? This is Anonymous for the Voiceless Fort Myers. And I know they got a big crew here. So it's going to take a second for them to get There's Brad. All right, you guys can go through, each introduce yourself and say like a sentence or two about your organization. And I'm gonna get the, or just you, just Brad. Brad's a spokesmodel, I think, for Anonymous for the Voiceless, Fort Myers, here you go. Hey everyone, you just heard a very powerful speech. I hope you all were moved by it. If you have any vo semblance of a voice in the back of your head telling you you wanna do something about this, listen to it. Getting involved can do so much for you because then you meet more people that are inspired by multiple things of their volition. Everybody you see here started somewhere, all right? Everyone here. Starting a chapter, if you don't live here, is easy. But we have chapters all over the world, all over Florida. This Friday, March 1st, we have a chapter. March 3rd, there's one in West Palm. The 28th, there's one in Gainesville. You can find an AV chapter wherever you are. There's one going on near you, wherever you are, every week. So, and it's the easiest way to get started. Or even if you're really shy about talking to people or anything, you can just show up, stand in there, wear the mask, and you can listen to conversations around you. Even if you just show up and witness people having honest, one-on-one -on -one conversations, which is really, really where it starts, change really starts. So I just want to thank Vets Fest for giving us resources to continue our campaign and to trying to enlighten everybody in what happens, the consequences of what they buy, and the environment, and the animals, and health. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, everybody. You got a nice big crew out there, and I know I have I have gone out to some of the cubes that they do in Fort Myers, and it's a it's a really really powerful experience. I would highly recommend it if you have not done that, and just look for their tent, which I think is right over here. It says Truth on it. You can't miss it. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. All right, and then we got to hurry up here. Last one, but not the least, Daniela, are you here? I know she was helping James. There she is from Humane Haven Animal Sanctuary. It's Daniela, another recipient. I'll let you talk about your animal sanctuary. You just had a fundraiser, but tell us where you are with the sanctuary and what your plans are. Thanks, Mike, and thank you all for coming today. Um, so right now, uh, we are just an empty property. We're a nonprofit, and it's gonna be in Fort Myers, Florida, off of 82 and Daniel's area. And uh, we're still in the initial phases, so all of your support is greatly appreciated. We hope to uh, get the infrastructure built by the end of this year. So fencing, the well, the barn, 
all of that. Sorry I'm out of breath, I've been running around. Um, but thank you guys so much for your support and thank you Southwest Florida Veg Fest for the donation. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome, and, and Daniela, if she puts her mind to it, I know I, what I know about you is you'll get it done. So it's gonna be big, whatever she does, I can tell you that, so just keep an eye on her organization. Okay, Kathy Raynor from our board of directors and also with Chip. She's gonna announce the winner of the contest she told you about earlier. Kathy. Welcome, how many of you have heard of the CHIP program? Raise your hand, shout out. Come on, I wanna hear you. Okay, we have this box that looked really good when I brought it this morning. It's gotten a little disheveled over the course of the day, but we are raffling off this box and everything in it. And one of the top items in this box is the Vegan Starter Kit. New book by Dr. Neil De Barnard. I happen to work for the, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine as well. Hey, Doc. Anyway, so this book is also in this box along with several other educational materials and whole food, plant-based snack food. But it's not junk food. It's the best of the snack food. Okay, so several of you received tickets when you went by the chip booth. You had to be here at this time to win. So if you have one of these little red tickets, and I hope you do, or I'll be up here a long time calling numbers, please come on up and get the door prize. The first ticket, the last three numbers are two, five, four. Anybody out there with two, five, four? Going once, going twice. If you snooze, you lose, okay. The next ticket, the last three numbers are two, seven, zero. Anybody have a number 270 that they picked up at the chip booth? I'm gonna pull one more, and then we're gonna try again maybe at four o'clock, all right? The last three numbers are 251. 251, oh, I'm so glad you won. I didn't want to have to do it again. Come on up. Congratulations. Enjoy, share with others, lead by example and spread the message. You're welcome. Thank you. That is awesome, folks. It's always nice to get a little bit of money and win some prizes, isn't it? Make some noise if you're still having a good time here at games at Southwest Florida Veg Fest. We're gonna get it right. We're gonna get it right before the end of this fest, I promise. We MC a lot of Veg Fest around Florida, so if you see us anywhere else, make sure you say hello. Hello there. All right, guys, so Royce is also a comedian. He does stand-up comedy, but you know, I've been practicing something. I think I've been getting a little good, you know? So I'm gonna tell you guys a joke. You know what really grinds my gears? I can't stand when somebody comes busting into my room door without knocking. I just think that's so rude and impolite and I'm so respectful. You know, I'm so respectful that I even knock on the refrigerator door to make sure there's not a salad dressing. Thank you. You know, you know what, that actually was pretty good. You, you've been taking some notes. I try, I try. <laughs> but that's cool. We got to go ahead and keep things rolling, everybody, because we have a health and fitness instructor ready for you. Mr. Evan, who do we have for them? 